Welcome back to the channel, my name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and today we're here with another update with the Flyby Y A32NX. Now, what we're going to be looking at today in today's video is the top of descent and some other new features with the fly pad. So look, let's get straight into the aircraft. Okay, here we go. We're in a short flight from Gatwick uh, to Knock Airport in Ireland, just for demonstrational purposes. We should be heading at about 30,000 feet. Uh, we are getting there very, very slowly. So what I want to talk about today is the fly pad. Now, the fly pad is coming a long way very, very quickly. Um, so one of the main features here is top of descent, because currently we still have no top of descent markers on the navigation units. But what they have now introduced is a calculator here for us so we can kind of roughly calculate when we need to get to the top of the descent or start descending for our approaches into airports. Now Nock Airport, according to the charts, we'd have to get down to 2,500, so that would be our target altitude. Now I just want to stress very quickly that it's still not working with VNAV. There is no descent profiles going into the MACDO from this. Um, and there's nothing on the navigational display, so you kind of, it's just there for you. So we will put in what our altitude would be, which is 30,000 feet. And we we know that we need to target 2,500. So according to this, we'd have to be 86 nautical miles before the target. Now that's very important, I stress before the target. So if we say we go into your flight plan, and if we come down, uh, I haven't put in my actual approach into EIKN, uh, but just for instance, we're going to use... Um, Hang on, we, be we better put something in. Okay, so we know by peril we have to be down at 2,500. Now we know that that is now nine nautical miles out. Okay, so currently, you know, we still got quite a while to go. Um, but we know that by peril 2500 is our target altitude to capture the glide slope into runway 26. Okay, so according to this, we'd have to be 86 nautical miles out. Now, that 86 nautical miles out is from this point, not the airport, from this point. So, if we were to just um, move out our range here, uh, and you can see that's when it all starts getting a bit crazy down there, uh, but we'll know. At peril now, there's a few ways we can look at this so we need to be about 86 nautical miles from peril so once peril which is here starts flowing into just before the 80 nautical miles we know that we need to start descending I would suggest giving yourself just a little bit extra uh, just so to make sure that you do get down on time it's better to be a little bit early than too late capturing those glide slopes so all you do here is 86 Plus nine, uh, which would be 95. So we need to make sure that we're 95 nautical miles away to make sure that we're down on 2,500. So you can see peril is here. But once that kind of roughly comes down to the 95, obviously you'd be coming yourself in just a little bit more. Um, but once it starts, just you know, coming around this point, we know that we need to be descending. Of course, you can look from here as well. Uh, you can check what your nautical mileage is. So you nine, once you're 96 nautical miles away, we know because we've added the 96 on to from the airport to here, the 96 nautical miles we know that we could start descending. And again, you could use different degrees, pitch altitudes. Uh, you can change it if you want to do vertical speed. Say you want to come down at you know 1800. Okay, so that's telling you 99. So we'd still be 99 plus 9. Um, 1,800 is a nice little rate going down, to be honest with you. 2,200-ish, uh, 81 nautical miles. So you can do it that way as well. And uh, Now, this is the one I'd use. I'd use vertical speed myself. So when you use vertical speed, it's very simple. We would actually just use this, and we would put in the vertical speed that it gives us, and, uh, yeah, engage the vertical speed, and it will drop us down to whatever altitude we have via this vertical speed. Now if we go back to here, so you got the degrees and angles, uh, you could just do nautical miles itself, 
say you know by 100 nautical miles away i want to be down it's going to give you exactly what you need so there's loads of different ways that we can input this um and it's a very cool little tool that they've added and definitely much needed on this aircraft so a lot of people always ask me how do you know how do you know how do you know there you go so this is how you can now work it out the fly pad is a great tool for this now if we go back into the dashboard as well uh you can see now on the settings this is new the audio settings so we can actually for the first time change the engine noises we can raise them lower them wind we can lower the wind um so this is just showing you how far we are coming with this fly pad uh, brightness hasn't crept in yet but yeah so look we can ptu audible in in cockpit which is unrealistic but if you wanted to add it you can um but again we've got the exterior master volumes engine interior volumes and wind interior volumes as well so yeah this is really cool this is coming a long way the a32 nx team have done a great job of course fly by wire uh continuing to give us a great aircraft from microsoft flight simulator and it's all completely free if anyone has not downloaded this i i don't know why you haven't yeah you this is a must this is a must download for microsoft flight simulator if you join this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, upload now every single day. Come join us on the VA, simply connect VA.com, link in the description down below. Come join us on the Discord. Love that for myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.